Okay, we came out here to check on some morels. We're on the uh, west side of the Cascades. We came out to check a little burn. And as soon as we got up here, oh, look, there's one. There's one right there. There's a morel right there. See it? Right there. I'm gonna pick that. And there's a morel. Whoops, one in the sun. I saw a couple more over here, too. It's that time. There's another one there. There. Right on. Alright. Good times. So I've been looking around here, I already found some. I had a few people with me. I saw some nice Korean ladies. And they're looking around. And already found some morels. And I just came across this really nice gray one right here. Look at that, right there. It's beautiful. Lots of burn here. I'm looking around. And you can see all the damage the fire did, but the ground is still cold. Oh, there's one. Nice. There's one right here. There's one right there. Nice. Oh, look at that one. Oh, there's two more. Oh, this is a big one. Look at that big puppy. Look at that puppy right there. He's huge. And I got another one right over there, too. Oh, yeah. Show me the morels. This is awesome. Oh, so much better than being in the office. Right on, look at that puppy right there. He's big. Okay, so I just found those, but here, look at this big one right here. Okay, I'm gonna cut them off. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be great. I'm totally gonna take that back to the lab and I'm gonna take a tissue culture of it. That's gonna be awesome. Sweet. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Here's another one right there. Here we go. That's beauty. Right on. Winning. Well, today has definitely been a good day. I am definitely going to have a bunch of mushrooms to do some culturing with. This is awesome. Sweet. So we came out to the forest and uh, we met up with a few people and saw this uh, couple of Korean ladies, really nice. Found them some mushrooms, showed them some mushrooms, and we found some more mushrooms. So, pretty good. Gotta love it when you find more else. Right on. There's one right there. But go ahead, I saw this one. So. Actually, I'm gonna cut it off. There you go. Look at that. I'm gonna cut it off. Some people pull them up, but then you end up with all like the dirt on the end of the stem and stuff like that. So see, I cut that off. It's nice and clean. But you see that? When I find a morel, I always cover this up because if I'm walking through the forest as an experienced forager. I'm going to be able to tell where the mushrooms are. So they'll actually eventually turn kind of dark brown as it oxidizes. So what I do is I just, I cover it up. So you do have to be careful when you're coming out into the forest. Because then you run into this. And if 
I'm not mistaken. If you look right there, it looks like he just ate something. There's definitely something inside him. This nice little snake. And we're out here looking for morels, and that's what we found. He's probably got a mouse or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let him be. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him be. Can you see the morels? Right there. It's like, oh, oh my God, look, there's four of them. Okay, so this is awesome. Okay, here we go, here we go. There's three. One, two, three. Oh, but then, I didn't see this one. There's a bigger one right there. He's coming. He's a big one. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these. So that's really awesome. So I found three. All right, gonna keep looking. I found those three morels right there. I just covered them up. Now I went to harvest this bigger one right here. So look what I did. This is me. So I turned it over, I cut it, and it was all kind of wonky. So I decided just to leave it. I'm just gonna cover it up right here. No one can see it. But as I was looking, Check this out. So see that little white spot right there? That's a cut morel. So if I see that when I'm out foraging, that's gonna be a sign. And depending on how discolored that is, the edge, this looks like it's fresh. So maybe, was it today? Was it yesterday? Anyways, so that just tells me there's morels. Looked like it was a pretty decent one. So that's good to know. And I just found, so there's that little white one in there. I just found one here, and I found three here. So there's another thing to look for too. See that? That's brown cup fungus. See those a little bit tighter, but when you start seeing those, the ground is about uh, the same temperature needed as morels. I've been finding a few. Let me stop. There's one right there. Let me see. It's right there. Right there. So this is great. So this is the first area that we stopped at. And then we went and checked out a few areas and just looked a little bit early. But here I am. In the sun. Anyways. Beautiful. Okay. Very grateful. Can you see the morel? Where do you think the morel is? There you go. Let me zoom in for you. See it yet? Yeah? this one and continue on. Can you see it? There we go. There we go. And another one. Nice. So I'm just sharing some random things. So I came across here and I think someone's morale. I saw that one first right there. And I zoom in a little bit so you see. But if you look, I'm looking at this area. I'm near the edge. It's kind of a clear cut over there. But you can see how this is all disturbed and turned up. And morels love this kind of environment. Anything that's a disturbed habitat, you're gonna kind of create some morels, plus the fire. So just something to look for. Plus, when I come out here, I'm looking for morels. Checking the ground. See? So it's cool and it's still moist, but yet it's not too dry. So I've been finding them all throughout this area here. And we went to another area that was more cold, more wet, more dingy, and we didn't find any. So, yep, I've been finding them here. This is the second time back here today. So, very cool. All right, just thought I'd share some stuff with you guys. Okay, so I just came over. I was just over there talking about uh, the disturbed area. And I came through here and I found one morel. Then I just found another one right there. 
And here's another one that I saw. So I'm gonna keep looking through this little bit of area here. Plus it being on the edge of the forest, you know, maybe there's something to uh, morels coming up near the edge with the mycelium. Can't grow anymore. So we're just gonna keep looking. Disturbed areas, yeah, great stuff. All right guys, just a little random thing. I just thought of it while I was out here. I just picked these two mushrooms, you know, side by side. You can see one's a little bit darker than the other one. But if you notice the stems, see how one stem's white? The other one's kind of orange going brown. So that's just telling me that this, this morel is older, right? So when I cut them, I can tell this one, the white one, it's still fresh, it's still solid. So it's kind of on the edge. So this is, these are the kind that you want to eat right away. The other ones, you can dry them too and do that kind of stuff. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Anyways, finding morels. So I've been walking through this little disturbed area. I saw a morel over here. There's one right there. I'm gonna keep looking around. I saw one down there in between the logs. Where is it? It's right there, see it in the middle? Right. Oops. You see it, right there. Anyways, disturbed area, but I also tell. I can see by the footprints that other people have been here. So nobody found these morels. So maybe they came up after they were here. Oh, there's another one. Actually, look at that. Just as I was talking. See, I videotaped. So I saw that one. And then I saw that one. But then as I was talking and telling you, look at that. So here we go. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Right in this little area. So I've already found about a dozen. I know. I'm paying the mortgage with it, but I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the experience. I'm coming out to the forest for the beauty that it is. The reason why it says for rest, uh, having a blast, living the dream. Living the dream in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we're still looking. Sometimes they're buried. There's a nice one right there. Right. Oh, look at that. Okay. There you go. I'm finding these today. It's really exciting. All right, gotta cover up my path. Gotta cover your tracks so nobody finds your morel patches. Yeah, that's me. Oh, Winnie. Can you tell where the morel is? I'll show you where it is. It's right in there. Let's me zoom it in. See it? I just found that one. And then I decided to stop and wait for my friend to show up so he can take some pictures. And look, there's another one. Ready? There's another one right there. And then a little bit further past it. You can't see it. So you can do it. Whoops. Oh, there's another one. Okay. So there's one right there, a little one. So this is really cool. Just came over here. We've been bordering this forest area. And I saw that one right there. But then I look over and just about had a heart attack because I saw that big honker right there. Oh my god. That's a big one. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it. I just came over here to harvest this one. Holy cow, it's big. Wow, look at this one, look at that. Look at that, that's a big one. It's got a little bit of bugs in it. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. I got one over there I gotta harvest too. Crazy monker right there. Wow. Let's see the light. A little better. Wow, that's great. All right, I just noticed that these these brown cup fungus with the breeze, they're sporulating. All right, go ahead. Let's see if this is going to do it. I noticed my friend was standing there. Look at that. See? So my friend was standing in front of it taking a picture and then when he walked away a big gust of wind came up and blew some spores so it's sporulating as we're talking right now look at that 
Look at that, that's awesome. Just to catch that out in the forest like this, and we're looking for morels. Guess what? Winning. This is awesome. So learn something from what we've seen. That's we've right. Seen a lot. There you go. So I saw a morel coming over here, and then I stopped. Oh, look at this. They're popping up everywhere. Look. They're not big. Uh, there's one there. There's a couple here. But then I just walked over a couple here, and there's one right there. I saw one over here. I don't know where it went. There's like an old, I think that's a little bit older one, but you can see a little bit more brown. So these yeah, are I think that there's one's two. Done. Yeah. So we're going to keep looking because this is a little bit area and we're, uh, there's one over there. Yeah. Sitting here basking in the sun. And I swear to God, I only saw two and then I saw three. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that one. So we're going to look around because uh, there's a number. There's another one right there. <laughs> so, oh, there's another one right behind us. Oh, there's another one over there. <laughs> there's a whole bunch. So we're just going to check this area and then we'll get back to you. <laughs> I just grabbed some soil and said, oh, the ground is cool enough. It feels like that temperature that's good for morels. And then I looked over there and I saw this. So, ah, I gotta be careful. I don't step on other ones on the way. Oh, that's a nice one too. There you go, look at that. That's a nice big one. And I'm gonna pick this with my hand, break it off. It's a nice one. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's just a little bit old. See the ridges? Beautiful, beautiful burn morale. This is right on. There's another little one right around the corner. Hey, we just came upon. Let's get one right here. Nice. Finally. It's a nice big one. one right there at your feet by your right foot inside right in front of you <laughs> <laughs> so it's like hard to see Isn't that amazing? they're amazing they yeah. are totally amazing yeah. nice all right. all right i found it it was right in front of me ah, i go figure i'm just talking about ground temperature i'm seeing a whole bunch of brown cup fungus then i saw this over here in the sun See, there's some right here. Look at that. So, when I see this, this tells me the ground is in the 50s and it's conducive. Let's see if I can get it to a spore late. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. There you go. Ah. Little big one going here. Helping it, I'm spreading the love. Nice. All right, we just came up on top of this ridge here, and I was looking over here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a morel right. Where is it? Right there. But then I think I saw some other ones. All right, we're gonna go over here and have a look. Oops. Is where there's one. Maybe there's more. All right, so I saw it. Maybe it's the same one. Nope, it's another one. It's two. All right, definitely two. They look like they're still good. That's the one I saw from the distance, but then I saw this one right there. Nice. So we're going to harvest these. Nice little gray. It's fresh. There's another one here. I'll tell you what, you need to cover your you need to cover your cut pieces because we were down in the lower part and my friend found a nice little fresh cut patch of morels. So if we see that, we can kind of tell how fresh they are, how many they were, what's coming up. So right on, let's go. Okay, so I found a few morels, the gray ones. 
I'm gonna check this out. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if you can see it. See right there? You see the two little fungus gnat wings? So I'm gonna try and move in. So basically, here you go. So here you have, you have a couple of fungus gnats who've flown inside the ridges probably to lay their eggs. I don't know if that's natural habitat or natural life cycle of a fungus gnat that its only purpose is to reproduce and once it does or does it sacrifice itself? I don't know. Maybe you can fill me in or let me know, but you can definitely tell there's been other ones. Look at all the fungus gnats in there. And I wonder if they become mummified from mycelium. So definitely gonna have to look at this. Hopefully it's turning out. I'm zoomed in. So there's another good reason to make sure that you clean your mushrooms or eat the bugs. Everybody gets their own way. There's some more fungus gnats, look at that. Feasting. They're feasting on the stem. Or oh, it looks kind of like they've just, maybe they just latch on and just sacrifice themselves and the mycelium consumes them and then they grow eggs. I don't know, we'll have to look that up. That's really cool, look at the little, that's a fungus gnat. Right on, living the dream in the Pacific Northwest. All right, there's one right, right there. Can okay, you see him? Oops, sorry, right there. All right, I'm gonna go take a look. It's a big gray. So we just came back and we just saw a couple and found a few over there. And I saw this one big one right here, right there. Oops, clear this out of the way. Oh, there's the other one there. So there's one nice big one right there. And there's another nice big one right there, so. Yeah, awesome. Came back to an area we were at before. Just double check in the same area. Turning out we're seeing fruit, so this is great. Okay. So we decided to go this way. And as soon as we turned right at the mushroom, this is what we found. Ready? There you go. There's the squeak. Yeah, beautiful morale. Got it right here in the sun. Look at that. Winning. <laughs>